Hello, hello, hello. My name is Sam Rogers from ChasingLily.net. I'm doing this screencast today to let you all know exactly how I go about uh, recording, editing, and posting our podcast from ChasingLily.net, our dark territory podcast that deals with Lost every week. Um, you will notice I have up a new homepage. Don't worry, this is only temporary. But go over here, click on the blog. We'll take you directly to the blog. So here's our latest podcast, for example. How exactly I go about uh, putting this up and everything. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Um, I told you guys I'd have this up a few days ago, but too bad. I was busy, so I don't want to hear any complaining. So pretty much how, how I do it is me and Will, my co-host on the podcast, um, well, we live in different places. I'm here in Fredericksburg. He's back at home in Leesburg, Virginia, up north. So we can't really get together in a room every single week and uh, record. So what we do is we record it over Skype. And I found a very helpful plugin for Skype. It's called Pamela Call Recorder. That's the name of the plugin for Skype. It's free. The only um, problem it has, it's not really a problem, is that it can only record 15 minutes at a time because it's the free version. It only records 15 minutes at a time. Now how I got Pamela is I went to the extras tab right here on Skype get extras. And I'll show up with all this and actually Pamela call recorder is um, one of the first things that you see here and you can also search for it, Pamela call recorder. There are some other call recorders um, Pretty May. I've used Pretty May and I've also used I think it was just called Skype call recorder but um, Pamela call recorder is the best this one is free, but only for like 15 days, and Pamela Call Recorder is just all around the best. It's completely free. It might only record 15 minutes at a time, but then again, uh, what are you going to be talking about that's a whole lot longer than that, other than Lost in our podcast, of course. So what you can do is just download it from here, and then it will show up right here, Pamela Call Recorder. That's how we got that. So pretty much what you do is here I have a conversation going. Up here on the extras, you see it has Pamela Call Recorder. And actually, any time that you start a call, like if I was to start a call right now, it would automatically pop up with a message saying, would you like to record this call, yes or no? And if I click yes, Pamela would click up, and um, it would start up. Here's what it looks like. And if I had a call going right now, I would record. So, yeah, let's start a call, and I'll just record something and show you how I'd go through the process of putting it up. Hello, Will. So here I'm going to click yes, and I'll start recording. So Will, um, this is just an audio test that I'm going to put up online on the website and show people how exactly I put up the podcast. Isn't that fascinating? Wow, that's fascinating. I bet it is. I'm glad you told me what we were doing beforehand so that I would know that that's what it was. <laughs> yep, well... So, anyways, I'm just going to leave because Will is a sucky loser. Yeah, your face is ugly. <laughs> that was rude. So, anyways, if I go over here, we will see that we have this recorded. I have some previous calls that have been recorded and stuff. Right down here, here's the date. If you can click on it, listen to a preview of it. Um, but I can go here, open folder, and this is what I do. So, here it has all the things. March, here you go. So I'm going to go down here, and I edit the podcast using Audacity, which I have right here. Now, I'm a musician that likes to record things, so I kind of have – I don't like Audacity personally. But for podcasting use, for any just quick editing, it works. It works great. Like if you're going to record any music or stuff with it, I would not suggest doing that. But here, here we have Audacity. Um, I can go in here, edit any of this. I'm sure a lot of you guys – already done this in class and stuff. But let's say, oh, this looks really loud. I can go to here, effect, um, amplify. I'll just turn it down. There we go. Um, so there, that looks good. I would export this, give it any names if I want. So let's give it a name. Um, the artist, the flying uh, crab shacks. It's a good name. Track title would be terrible. Yada yada. This would be for like if you're um, gonna put it in iTunes and stuff, and then you just give it a name here. So terrible recording. Sounds like a good name. 
It's going to export into MP3. And so next what we're going to do is we're going to have to upload this online. And actually, um, the entirety of this process um, is pretty much this tutorial that I found online, but just by Googling. Um, this tutorial pretty much outlines almost exactly what I do, actually. Um, so I'll have this up in a link in both the video description and on the blog post. But pretty much what you need next, what, for what I do, you need a some sort of uh, website to host your file. And there are numerous websites that will host your files for you. Pretty much, it, it doesn't even matter. You can even host them on your own website here. As long as they're online, they can be linked to an RSS feed. And that's really all you need for a podcast, because that's what a podcast is. It's just, it's just files on an RSS feed. And you know, RSS, real simple syndication, gets sent to people, and then they, uh, it picks it up. That's what iTunes does. It uh, updates the RSS feed of all the podcasts you have, and it downloads new ones, and, and they, people can listen to it. Um, so it doesn't matter what site you have them on as long as you have them somewhere online. Um, there are some free one websites that will host your files, myfreepodcast.com. I used that website for actually a number of years for previous things. It was really good. It, I had some problems with it, though, using – you pretty much have to record on their – their little program they provide for you and there's like no editing capabilities on there so I just I I kinda switch there are other free hosting sites I know like Podbean I believe has free web hosting for um, your podcast files and such but I actually did it a different way and some people may argue this is harder but I, I, I don't know it's once you get the hang of it it's actually much easier than doing it any other way I think um, it involves using the Internet Archive at archive.org. We actually went over this or had it a few classes ago. Um, pretty much what you do is you come in here, you would make an account, go over here to log in, and I'm going to go through this quickly because um, all this is actually outlined in this tutorial I, I spoke of previously. So you make an account here, then you come over to ourmedia.org. Ourmedia.org, you come over, make an account here, and pretty much once you have an account here, you can immediately start uploading audio files. And R Media actually saves all your files onto the Internet Archive. And so that's how I have all of my um, all of my files saved. So if we go over here, here I have a saved search of here are our podcasts, some of them. Um, here they all are. They're, they'll be on the Internet Archive, and they'll be in this format. And so pretty much, once you upload them, they'll show up like this. And I can go right in here. Uh, and Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Hi, and welcome to... And then here it gives you the code to embed it, and I could copy this code. And I could just stick it into a blog post that I'm writing. Any post, I could just stick it into the HTML, and it would automatically show up with this. In fact, this is the exact same thing as this. So then I would just upload this here, 